The human food supply is composed of plants and animals, as well as the products we get from them. The road from farm to fork is a long one, and there are plenty of chances for food to become contaminated along the way if certain procedures aren't followed. Temperature plays an important role in maintaining the quality of our food. Typically, a change of just a few degrees can make a big difference in the growth rate of harmful microorganisms, so it's important to keep the temperature consistently low. A cold room is a refrigerated room used to store perishable foods to prevent the growth of microorganisms and to increase shelf life. Take an apple, for example. A farmer grows it, harvests it, and takes it to the nearby market, where you then buy a few to take home. This is an example of a simple supply chain. The chain becomes much more complex with global consumers, who expect inexpensive, high-quality food any time of year, wherever they live. As food is distributed throughout the world, it goes through several steps in the global supply chain on its journey to the end consumer. A breakdown in any step can cause major problems and result in contamination. It's a big challenge to preserve food without affecting its natural appearance and taste. Suppliers can overcome this by adhering to food safety standards outlined in the Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Point Guidelines, also known as HACCP. These standards regulate the manufacture, storage, distribution, and importation of food to ensure that safe and wholesome options are available to everyone. Hazard Analysis and Critical Control Point, HACCP, prioritizes on creating a systematic approach to identifying and controlling hazards, for example, microbiological, chemical, or physical contaminants that could pose a danger to the preparation of safe food. Identifying what can go wrong in any step of the global supply chain and planning to prevent it. HACCP is a part of legislation on food safety and is internationally certified by an ISO certification dated 2005, ISO 22000. Enforcing that producers of food products and ingredients for food products must control and verify that their products and production methods does not generate health risks. This is accomplished through control of the raw materials, oversight of production methods from heat treatment to cold storage, control of end product quality, procedure for cleaning and disinfection of equipment and rooms, and instructions for personnel. By following these steps, food producers can ensure a high level of quality in their products and safe consumption for all their customers.